Hi friends, in this video we will learn about treatment of bad debts and also the treatment of provision for bad debts in final accounts. We have already, already done some videos on this particular topic. We will do some problems further. Shall balance as on 31st March 21 is given to you. Debtors is given with the debit balance of 40 lakh fifty thousand rupees bad debts eighty thousand rupees and provision for bad debts one lakh fifty thousand now we are already given in the trial balance eighty thousand as bad debts that means the entry for bad debts for this amount has already been passed this data which is given in the trial balance is after subtracting bad debts of eighty thousand and you are already having a provision for bad debts of one lakh fifty thousand so this loss can be debited to this provision this this provision has been made only for this loss let us see further what is the additional information given to you outside the trial balance you are given some more information you are said write off further bad debts of rupees fifty thousand so maybe the auditors auditing the books of accounts have asked you to write off another fifty thousand as bad debts or the owner of the business wants another 50,000 to be written off as bad debts because he feels that the financial condition of few more debtors have deteriorated and they may not be able to pay the money on time. Maintain a provision for bad debts at the rate of 5% on debtors. So these are the adjustments you have to do to start solving the problem. Then prepare a small p &L account. Per year ended 31st March 21. Balance sheet as on 31st March 21. Bandits account. Provision for bad debts account. Debtors, I will show in the balance sheet. Inner column 40 lakhs, 50,000 was my debtors. Bad debts is having a debit balance. Balance brought down 80,000 rupees. Provision for bad debts is also having a credit balance of 1 lakh 50,000 rupees. Now, when provision was not maintained, when we don't have any provision for bad debts, this loss is straight away debited to the profit and loss account and bad debts account is closed. But in this problem, because we are having provision for bad debts, this amount bad debts cannot be debited to the P&L account. A specific account has been created. Profits have been set aside in the past to meet these losses. So this loss should be set off against such profits which have been set aside to meet the loss. Okay. Now, you can transfer this bad debts now and close it or let us do the other adjustments also. Write off further bad debts of rupees 50,000. So now we have to write off further bad debts. When further bad debts are written off. What is the entry we are going to pass for further bad debts? We have already learned the entries. Entry would be bad debts account debit 50,000 to debtors 50,000. So the impact of this entry would be bad debts account will be debited to debtors 50,000. And debtor account has to be credited with 50,000. That means the balance in the balance sheet has to be reduced by 50,000 less bad debts 50,000 and put it in brackets. So these are the two impacts of this one particular entry. Bad debts account has been debited and debtor account has to be credited. That means the debtor account has to be reduced. Okay. Now what should I do with this balance of 80,000 and 50,000, 1 lakh 30,000? This cannot be transferred to PNL account. We have to debit it to provision for bad debts. When bad debts is 
debited to provision for bad debts. So we'll pass the entry provision for bad debts account to debit to bad debts account. There is totally one lakh thirty thousand rupees in this account. So the entire amount is transferred to provision for bad debts account. So in provision for bad debts account, there will be a debit two bad debts. One lakh thirty thousand. In bad debts account, there will be a credit by provision for bad debts one lakh thirty thousand. So to close the account, I have credited the account with one lakh thirty thousand, and the amount has been debited to provision for bad debts. So with this, the account will get closed. Now, how much balance is left in provision for bad debts? One lakh fifty thousand was credited. One lakh thirty thousand has been debited. There is a balance of twenty thousand. Okay. Now let us see the second adjustment. Maintain a provision for bad debts at the rate of five percent on debt as. So write it here. Calculation of provision for bad debts now to be debited to PNL. Net debt as presently is only forty lakhs. After write off of further bad debts, the net debt as are forty lakhs. Total provision. To be maintained. What is the total provision we require to maintain? That is at the rate of five percent. That will be two lakh rupees. Forty lakhs into five percent is two lakhs. Okay. Now, provision already existing. Provision already existing is one lakh fifty thousand minus one lakh thirty thousand. So there is a balance of only twenty thousand left in the provision account. Provision now required by debiting P and L account. So it will be two lakhs minus twenty thousand, one lakh eighty thousand. I wanted a provision of two lakh, but I already have a provision of only twenty thousand. So the balance amount I can take from the profit and loss account. So what is the entry I pass for this? The entry I pass is two provision for bad debts, one lakh eighty thousand. This is the entry I pass. Now, let us go to the P and L account. I'll write here two provision for bad debts, one lakh eighty thousand. In provision for bad debts, I'll write by P and L account, one lakh eighty thousand. Now, how much balance is left here? There is a credit of three lakhs thirty thousand. Debit of one lakh thirty thousand. So there is a balance of two lakhs now. It is showing a credit balance. Carry it down. Brought down two lakhs. So this account is showing a credit balance of two lakhs. This is not an income account. It is a. It is some profit which have been kept aside to meet some losses in the future. So provision for bad debt should be either shown on the balance sheet liability side or. Because it is for a specific loss, it can be shown as a reduction from debt as also. Provision for bad debts, two lakh rupees. You can see here forty lakh minus fifty thousand is forty lakhs. On that five percent, two lakhs. So the balance amount will be shown in the outer column. Thirty-eight lakhs. So this is how I deal with the provision for. Bad debts. You can remember uh, 
style of a working note for calculating the amount of provision required to be debited or credited to PNL account and write it here. Calculation of provision for bad debts to be debited or credited to PNL. Take net datas that is datas after bad debts A B total provision to be maintained that will be A into X percentage C balance already existing in provision for bad debts how will you arrive at it it will be opening balance minus bad debts this will be the balance already existing in provision for bad debts D to be debited slash credited if the answer is in plus then that means you have to debit it if the answer is in negative then we have to credit the PNL account that is B minus C Number is positive debit PNL if negative that means there is some excess provision you have to credit profit and loss account so you can remember this way of calculation of the provision for bad debts to be debited or credited to the profit and loss account take the net debtors total provision to be maintained would be A into some X percentage this is the total provision you have to maintain out of that subtract the balance already exists in the provision for bad debts how will you arrive at that take the opening balance of the provision for bad debts subtract the bad debts you will get the balance already existing out of B subtract C you will get provision required to be debited or slash credited to profit and loss account okay if this answer comes positive that means there is a shortfall in provision you have to debit PNL and credit provision if there is a negative balance here that means there is an excess provision in such case debit provision and credit PNL account so this is this was a video on how to deal with bad debts when given in a final accounts problem along with provision for bad debts thank you